Well, Jeremiah and I just picked up a pallet of furniture for Boss Man's new house. He says it's complete, and I'm gonna go drop it off for him. If you guys remember when I first got into town, this is actually where I saw Boss Man. This location right here, this property, he was getting it all built up. All right, Jeremiah, let's jump out. This is his place. All right, let's set this box down here for him. We'll just set it right here. The farm is looking good. So this is the first alfalfa field that we harvested. And then I got a mower ready to go for Jeremiah on our second alfalfa field. So we should be able to make some good money. The RV parking is coming together. In one day, we completed all this. Got utilities in, electricity. All right, Jeremiah, go ahead, jump in. You ever run one of these before? Oh, you haven't? All right, well, just, just send it. Turn the key. And then two buttons, start the mowers and stop the mowers, and you'll figure out the rest. Yep, go ahead, I already did it outside road, just down and back. Hey boss man, jump in the car with me. What's up, man? We're gonna go check out your house. Have you seen it yet? I've not been to my house, no. Did you get that furniture pallet for me? Yeah, Jeremiah and I dropped it off. It was pretty heavy, but let's go check out your house. There she is, straight ahead. That is not what I told them to build. It's not? No, it's not. Like the building or the color? Everything. What the heck is this? Man, this is not a house. Uh-oh, did he send him the right blueprints or something? I'm starting to think not. Let's check this thing out. Well, it has really nice garage doors. This looks like Steve. Remember Steve had that workshop and he, like, before he got in trouble for stealing all the cars, like this place? This looks pretty much identical to that. Maybe a bit smaller. I think it's a, this is a bit smaller, but yeah, it's got the lift, like eight garage doors. I mean, that's nice, but this isn't a house, boss man. This is not a house. Where uh, do I sleep here? There's... Oh no, this is literally, I think I sent them the blueprints from his old place. I think you're right. This is, this is where his office would have been. I am not going to be staying in this thing. This is not a house. I went from a mansion to, to what? A workshop? This is a nice workshop, man, but yes, yeah, it is. It's it a, is. a nice workshop. Do I look like a car? No, I look like a beautiful human being who needs a nice comfy bed. Well, I got an idea. Here she is. This is my idea, boss man. What if we build you a house right here? Uh, what? Build me a house here? You own the land, right? Okay, I just paid for a house. I can't buy a whole, like, okay. I have lots of money, but man, that's, that's a little excessive. A whole nother house? It's going to take months to build. What if, what if we build it? ourselves do you know how to build a house remember last time we tried building a house i know how to build a house well. man i watch a couple youtube videos i know everything do you remember back at the dealership the house the we built you the lego house that oh, thing fell yeah, apart yeah, yeah. hey that those were like precast lego though that, that was weird oh, okay okay jeremiah I, listen I, up listen up jeremiah yeah. just got done mowing the alfalfa and actually this looks really bad he missed a lot of spots this is kind of weird for him but anyway i think he parked the mower back we're going to bail this up. We're going to make some money off the bales. But then I'll probably have Jeremiah honestly farm it. And then we're going to go get some logs, some trees, cut them into pieces, and build you a log house. So you're thinking like a small house. Super tiny. One bed, one bath. Probably not even bathroom. Okay. You're going to have an outhouse. I mean, we're just going to dig you a hole. Okay. What else? You'll go down oh, to the creek okay. for a shower, oh, a bath. Whoa. You know? No. Okay. Let's compromise. No electricity. Small house. Just have a skylight. A small house and a bathroom. That works. In the house. That's right. not an exterior hole. It's yes? how, how hard you work. That's it. Let's do it, man. Let's turn and burn. Let's do it. I'll use the tadpole. You grab your 3500 with your gooseneck. Let's go get some wood. All right, then drive me over to it because I ain't walking. Boss man's firing up his truck. Jeremiah just got done with lunch. He grabbed the wind roller. He's going out there to make some bales. So we're going to have some good money when we get back. I bought boss man that truck and he, I pulled a skid loader with it. He pulled it back, but this will be kind of the second time he's actually done some work with it. So he'll be testing it out. That was kind of a bad turn by him with the trailer. Okay, you own these trees or what's the deal? Man, don't ask questions. We're going to be nice and quick. No one, no one will know. Just, just, just trust me, man. I like these trees right here, boss man. So do you own the land? Man, don't ask questions. Okay, here we go. Timber, you're downhill, man. Get out of the way. Oh, gee, don't drop it on our trucks. Well, this is a brand new baby. Tadpole would be able to handle it, but probably not your truck. Timber. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, big hoss. Turn and burn. Let's see that Cummins roar. All right. We got her loaded down. It's nothing, man. That thing's a high output. I think it's got a thousand foot pound of torque. Oh, yeah. It can handle it. Try to keep up, man. I'm right behind you. The tadpole's struggling a bit. I'm full throttle and I'm barely creeping along, man. Come on, man. There's traffic behind me. I want to drive with you. It's right. It's right. Uh, okay, go ahead and pull off, I guess, if you want. But I think we put we put a lot of weight on the trailer, but obviously, Boss Man's truck is built for it. The tadpole, not so much. Your tadpole is done good, man. Oh, Boss Man, we forgot to strap a log. What? Yeah, the top one. We didn't throw ratchet straps over it. Uh-oh. Is it 
gonna stay or? Uh, it's on there right now, but it, when I was turning, okay, when I turn, it's rough. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, Rumbus let's there. hope it makes it there. Come on, come on. Oh, she's rolling. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Hopefully it doesn't get too windy. Hopefully there's not somebody texting and driving behind me and they would run it over. That would be terrible. Here we go. Oh, it's falling. Okay, she's down. All right, let me pull off and grab it. All right, big hoss. I'm good to go. All right, you got her back on there? Yes, sir. You're going to be doing most of the framing. You have a lot of experience, you know, framing building houses out of wood. Look at this. Jeremiah's tearing it up. Yes, sir. Looks like he's finishing up right now. It's time to get these turned into bales. In order to make some bales, we got to take the wood off our stuff, and then that way we can load the bales on the trailer. The tadpole? Where do you want to build the house? I'm thinking let's build it right... I don't know. Maybe right here? Yeah, okay. So what direction... Which way is north? What if we make it face the interior? Does that make sense? Okay. Like, we, we make it face inside the circle. Into the field. Yes. Okay, let's go make some bales. Jeremiah's taking his last lap right there. Perfect time, and let's do this, man. All right, Jeremiah's taking another break. I'm going to start bailing, boss man, and honestly, get ready to just start loading the bales. Okay. Man, we're going to get so many bales from this field. Yeah, I wonder how much How much did we make last time? Like 20 grand each divided three ways? I don't think it was quite that much, but it wasn't too far off either. Oh, this field's a lot rougher, but thank goodness we got good suspension in this cap. Yeah, and I think we're making some big bales here. 10-4, all right. Yeah, this is good yielding ground, that's for sure. Look at that, guys. The beast. The tadpole. is already loading up. So we're running a 6R. This is boss man's combine. Not combine, but tractor. Uh, and then we got the huge baler. So we'll see how things go. We have it on the smallest baler setting. Boss man, would you ever want to change the baler settings to make bigger bales? Okay, do it. Do you think do it's it. going to destroy you it? Okay. me. Okay, Let's all right. It. How do you change it? Uh, click buttons and then... This is your baler, man. You should know how to do that stuff. All right, let do me you switch. Really, like, you still think that I'm an expert farmer? Have I not proven that I'm not? All right, I changed it to the largest setting. There were three options. We had it on the lowest. We'll see how big it gets. Oh, geez, I'm kind of nervous. Are they going to be, like, longer then, or...? I don't know. Probably in every direction. I'm not too sure how it really works. It should be the one coming up after this. Yep, I think it's just longer. Jeez, okay. Well, hopefully your vehicle can handle it, but I did unload my trailer, too, so okay. we'll be good. Yep, we'll use your Ram 35. Oh, yep. They... Wait, maybe the next one? There we go. Here's the bigger bales. Yep. These are by far bigger. They're at least like 50%. Oh, it's not even sliding off good. Boss man, you parked your truck in the wrong spot. Oh, uh, yeah. I might, that I might be a good enough driver to get it all, actually. We'll see. Yeah, man. It's your fault that you can't do it. Totally not my fault. Boss man? What's up? The tadpole is is not up anymore. It's actually sinking into the ground. Yeah, it's not really driving the best. I couldn't get it moving. Let's see it. Look how much will... bigger the bales are. The big bales compared to the little ones. Yeah, here, let's say uh, see how fast this will go. Um, Spencer? Yeah, put it in gear. Go. Uh come on, hit I the am. pedal. Are my wheels even spinning? No, nothing. Oh, there you moved it. There you go. That's reverse. That's all she got. Alright, now go forward. That's forward. Here, I'll that. give you. I'll push it. I'll push. I'll push. Come on, tadpole. Go, go, go. There we go. You got it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I'm going. Go, four go, miles go. An hour. Man, it's, it's it's keeping it. I can go between four and five miles an hour. As you're I'm going, go sell I should start throwing. Yeah, go sell them. I should start throwing some hay bales on. See if you can keep increasing the weight. But that is a bunch. Now the good news is we don't have to worry about tipping over because we're just flat on the ground. Dude, I can literally walk faster than this thing. I know, but hey, you got this thing for free from the prison, right? Yeah. Like, the fact it's able to handle all this weight, that's pretty impressive. When you go deliver those bales, yeah, it'll pay for itself. So I'm going to keep bailing, finish the rest half of the field, and then start loading up on your trailer. You should be back, what, about an hour? Yeah, maybe an hour and a half. I just have to cross the street. That is crazy right there. It reminds me of the Grinch when he loaded up all the Christmas gifts in his sled. And it just piled up. That's what it looks like from afar. Boss man, let's get her sold. Get her unstrapped. All right, here we go. There we go. It's selling. Oh, boss man, hang on. How oh, much? Oh, I should have worn a helmet. That sold for 14 grand. That's it? 14? What? What do you mean that's it, man? We have so many more bells to bring over. That's true. Okay, so as of right now, I mean, we'll total it up all in the end, but that's roughly 4,500 each. So that's pretty good. All right. Can the tadpole move now? Oh, yeah. It can move now. No okay. problem. I was making sure, like, 
the leaf springs didn't snap or anything. Okay, all right, see you back in the field. All right, boss man, I'm thinking I'll finish the rest of the bales, get those sold, and then you start building that house because you're a really good carpenter. Okay, I'll get started with that. When do you think we're going to have all these bales picked up by? I think I'll be over to help you out in an hour, but you should make pretty good headway by then. Here we go. We got a lot of bales on here. Let's get them sold. All right, unstrap. They're selling. Jeez, that's a lot. We got $34,000 total. Divide that by three. So I got 11,300. I got to dish out the 11,300 to boss man. And then Steve, they sent an automatic payment to him. So that's perfect. And the reason why is we're all third owners in the land. Technically, Steve, boss man, and I own this 80 acres plus the barn and all that land surrounding. But boss man owns this, but we just split it three ways. We all work hard. Spencer. Yeah. Guess what? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Oh, uh, nah, I'm, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, here. Come with me. Come with me. Turn around. Okay. Okay. Turn Wait, turn around. around. What in tarnation? Yes, sir. Check this out. Wow. It's an hour and a half and you built this. Yes, sir. Look at this all by myself. That looks great. You got the windows, little, you know, kind of garden plants. Very nice. Yeah. And this thing, I don't think it's going to fall apart either. I think this is actually going to stay together the whole time I'm here. This is like a tiny house. This is simple living, man. And it's like luxurious, super clean. Yeah, I tried having a bit of a smaller house than in the past. Here's my bathroom. If you Beautiful. ever need to take a shower. A little tight in here for my liking, but I mean, I would take it. Just not two people. That's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.